<laughs> so this is my mentor, Stephanie Di Benedetto, and she works as a Google software engineer, like Kim just said, at YouTube. And she works on the back end, so what you see when you look at a website is the front end, that's the design parts, and the back end is what actually makes it work. And before working at Google, she started last year in February. She spent eight years at, in a PhD program at Colorado State University, and she was re-architecting the lower levels of the internet, so that's kind of cool, something we use every single day. And her specialization is systems networks. A cool thing she told me on her first day, she emailed me and I didn't get back to her fast enough. Whether I had like connected to Google or email, like you know, you could go on Gmail with our email, EULA email. So she had figured, she had this website that she could tell that our accounts were connected to Google as part of systems networking. All right, so this year we worked on artificial intelligence and I learned that it's basically a lot of calculus and different math equations that you throw into a program that makes them think. And we created a version that I'm gonna use, show you a little soon that recommends books based on what you've liked before. And we worked weekly over Google Hangouts to just connect because she lives in San Francisco. And I think one of the highlights of my program was not just learning. We did it in Python, it was a new language for me. Oh, and this is my second year in magic. I actually did it in freshman year. And then I went on to spend seven weeks learning code at Girls Who Code Summer Immersion Program. If any of you are interested, like hit me up. And then I am doing, I was enrolled in AP Computer Science this year. So this is my, in Java. So wait a minute, I'm gonna pull up my demo. But I think one of the most valuable parts of my mentorship experience this year was that, um, well, that's part of my demo, um, was that she gave me advice about college and stuff. I had never really understood what it would mean to get a PhD or to go into the process of that in academic computer science. Like I thought I would get a bachelor's and go straight to get a job or just little things like classes along the way and things that I should expect. So this program right here is something that she taught me existed. It's a, it's a computer within your computer. So it was actually to bypass some of the EULA controls because it wasn't letting me run a Python script. And I thought I was going crazy because I would type in the command that should work and it would work 50% of the time. So we downloaded this into my system. And just an example is that I can go on Netflix on Eula Wi-Fi. So that was something fun that I learned. As a side note. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is my actual program. And so right here, this part is a dictionary, it's called. It's all the data that we're gonna use. It's different readers who have their books and uh, they rated it. So let's say I gave Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows like a 4.5 rating. And this is all based on information I found online on Amazon and Goodreads. Then I might like another book that the same person who had a 4.5 rating also read. So that's what my program does. And it goes into, so this is my, so I'm just gonna run through. So we're using different mathematical equations to equate the two and try to recommend you a book based on how similar your scores are. Um, okay, this is it. And then here I have a sample of the output. So this is, it had printed. I had asked it to print all of the data that I had put in. And then these scores, these are sim Pearson, this is a sim distance. Those are how similar the two um, characters I put in to match are. So I was kind of hungry by the end, so some of mine were like cake monster. Mm -hmm. And then like I started out with real names, Amira White. She was sitting, Amira was sitting next to me as I did this in school. Um, and yeah, it was just a really valuable experience that I just got to go into a world that I would never have gotten into otherwise. 
Um, artificial intelligence just intrigued me because it's kind of the next up and coming big thing within tech. And yeah, it was great. Thank you.